Yeah. Okay, so here is the Bonsai. Now this is the long range project I'm working on for RC Model Reviews. See we've got GPS there, and on the bottom we've got a flight controller. This is a F4 Omnibus, but not a Pro. I don't have a current shunt. I'll make an external current shunt, I think. I've got an XSR receiver in here at the moment because the L9, was it the R9 Slim, um, was a dud right out of the box, uh, which is a bit of a shame. So she's all set up there. Um, I have test flown it with the XSR, it flies really well. The um, iNav software does bring it home, which is all I really want it to do. I've got a carbon prop on, it's quite efficient. I'm surprised how efficient I've used the lower KV motor, the lowest I have, which is about 20, 100 kV, running on three cells with a 5.3 carbon, and I had a good, probably eight minute flight and used 10% of the battery, which is quite stunning on something like this, because this, these are really rough, you know, the surface is very rough on these, uh, Bonsai's in it, so pretty good. Um, I've used my bodgy push rods there. I can adjust the length of the push rod by kinking the wire. That works really well for trimming. And I've made my own tip fins to a specific scientific design here. And it certainly seems to be a lot less waggly than your average Bonsai with these fancy tip fins. So um, I'm going to put the FPV gear on this, uh, hopefully before tomorrow, and get it flying FPV. And then we'll just fly it and see how it goes. Good. I might do a range test effectively with the XSR as well, see how far we get with the XSR before the return to home kicks in. But it's all super light, super small, super safe, super compact. It's a good thing to be doing early long range flying with. But that's on the RC Model Reviews channel. I just thought I'd throw this in here today because Ron's just had a couple of flights and then he's buggered off because it's a nice day and he's got things to do at home. And so tomorrow, Sunday, will be the day when everybody arrives and we have some really good fun out here at the flying field where I mowed all this grass the other day. Uh, it's a really good, interesting note with the Parkinson's. Um, Exercise seems to produce a release of dopamine and after a lot of exercise I feel really good and I'm actually It's really hard to get going. I feel like I'm gonna fall over all the time when I start doing things like mowing all this grass But about 20 minutes into it you start to get into the groove and it's, it's actually really good It's a bit buzzy actually almost so um, Had a bit of a hard night last night didn't sleep because I think I used up all my dopamine, but um, Yeah, it's really good. I enjoyed it. Mowed all the grass. So we're all good to go The weather is supposed to be fine. Just like this. Look at it. Beautiful. Oops. Focus. Focus. Come on um, Yeah, weather's supposed to be nice and fine. So um, We get a bit of flying in have some fun is that focus on my eyepiece is out of focus. I can hear we've even got a full-size plane up here somewhere, which is rather unusual because it, there's been no planes here over the recent times because the weather's been so bad. So, yep, tune in tomorrow for the big vid of the big day out at Tokra Airfield. Just a reminder, if anyone's coming to New Zealand over the summer, you're welcome to come to the airfield. I'll be here most days when the weather's fine. Um, welcome to come out. I will be hopefully heading off with the old Sheila um, in early March to do the big tour thing that I mentioned, but otherwise, if you're uh, passing by, do come in. If you let us know in advance, I'll try and have a model ready for you to fly when you get here. There you go. That's it. Not much of a video today. We're all sort of kind of stunned by the fine weather. It's taking us off guard. There you go. Stay tuned. Tune in tomorrow. Big vid coming. Bye for now. Well, here we are. The summer's finally returned to the Southern Hemisphere. We have at last got a fine day. It's not even raining, which is kind of strange because we're so used to the rain now. Our feet have got webbed and we walk around with snorkels everywhere. It's just, this is one out of the blue. Here Ron sticks banging against the stops there. Get in that grass. Get in that grass. Ooh, we just saved today. Get in the other grass. Ooh. <laughs> 
It is a bit of crosswind drawn. Yeah, it's not that angry though. No, no, you can handle it, eh? You got the skills, man. You're taxing the, you made the bloody taxi button rushing for the ground. Yeah, I know. Challenging, mate. Who's that, man? You might be. Yeah.